you know, I just entered a few minutes now, but I I know that God is really very good with you. You know why? The quality of the informations that come to you is 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 a sign that God is to lift you. You see, what you just heard Pastor Alpha teach you is what they teach in ministers' conferences that the doors are closed, not what they teach pastors. This is what fathers see down in this church. Are we together? I want you to honestly not take this for granted. These are secrets. The kingdom is built on systems. God is not a herbalist. If you can find out how these systems work, it will be as if you held a charm. Let's honor him greatly, greatly, greatly for such an amazing time. Hallelujah. You can earn a living through honor. You can literally live your life earning a living just by honor. I said it yesterday that there's only one reason why people fail dishonor. Dishonor to God, dishonor to men, dishonor to principles. And every blessing of God that comes on earth follows a scriptural chain of authority. Psalms 133, don't turn there. The blessing starts from the head of Aaron the priest, down to his skirt. And then, so everything connected to him will eventually receive it. There is no lone ranger in this life. No matter what happens, every branch, no matter how long, is connected to a vine and connected to a root the branch can be as far as whatever you don't see the root but that's the reason why the branch never dies you can cut the branch if the root is still there it will still sprout again are we together yes you belong to a very mysterious spiritual family it's important you understand this you you know listen 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 when you understand this i wish that we're talking along that i would have taught you on spiritual tribes when when david was going to kill goliath listen saul saw him a small boy and he said no no don't go he said i will go and then saul said what family do you come from i need to know what secret and covenant when he said i come from this family the bench he said go i know the mystery that is in this family go allow the boy go human beings are not all bodies people are compendiums of mysteries when god wants to bless you he will connect you tribes represent possibilities in the spirit the same way there are mineral resources allocated there are certain things that are in kogi here do you understand yes you go to the river and you catch fish you don't have to be a christian it's a deposit that was left in the land there are lands that you go and you find mineral resources everywhere that's how it is in the spirit there are tribes where certain possibilities that come into your life are not because of your personal work is the heritage of that family lift your voice and thank him for what we're about to learn You have captured my heart, my heart. You have my heart, my heart. We go alive. Hey, hey, hey. You have captured my heart, my heart. My heart, we go alive. For the last time now, lift your hands, lift your voice, and sing to Him. Lord, you have captured. All I say is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's more than enough. That's the name we are connected to. If all I say is Jesus, Jesus, that's more than enough. I sing this Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. If all I know is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. 
with your love that's my testimony I'm alive that you have captured my mind Can we sing it just two more times, Amis? You are captured. My heart comes to me. My heart For the last time, sing it. Lord, you are my heart comes to me. Lord, this is our testimony. We're a winning family. Mysteriously glorious. Thank you. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your grace. You have shown us the secrets. You have opened the book before us. It is no longer a dark saying. Your light has come. Your light has come. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters. When the light of God comes and the mysteries of the kingdom open up, your life becomes a wonder. When God wants to bless you, he no longer hides the secrets from you. He grants you access to ancient wisdom. To draw from you again, again, again. We've come to We've come to the Please be seated. God bless you. Mark chapter 8. Mark chapter 8 verse 22 to 24. We are reading three verses very quickly. I am building on what we started. I am very happy the way God is moving in this conference. I am very very touched by the wisdom of the spirit. I want you to see this conference like a retreat. It's a camp. It's a place where you are coming to receive supply of grace and wisdom so that you will rise up like an edifice and do great things for the kingdom. We're reading verse 22. This was a scenario where Jesus came to a place called Bethesda or Bethsaida really. And he's about to have an encounter with a strange man. And let's find out what happens there. Are you ready? The Bible says, And he cometh to Bethsaida. Okay, Bethsaida. And they bring unto him, they bring a blind man unto him. And he besought to touch him. Now, what made that man blind was not shown. There are times in scripture where the Bible can give details as to why certain things happen to people. Sometimes because of disobedience. Sometimes it was hereditary. They were born with it like the man who was leprous. 23. And he took the blind man by the hand. Are we together? And he led him out of the town. He took him out of an environment. And when he had spit on his eyes, he put his hands upon him. Day one of the conference. And he asked him, if he saw 24 and the man looked up and said i have started seeing but not clearly um there is already hope I'm, I'm getting this thing but the men are still like trees and then the bible says 25 and after that he put his hands again everybody say again you see let me tell you the system of the kingdom sometimes will require you staying for seasons until your eyes are fully open that they've started opening does not mean you are seeing well some of you had something yesterday this is the tragedy of not staying through until a truth is crystallized in you 
the moment the light begins to come this man would have been left and if you ask him draw men he would draw a tree are we together he didn't know that there could be more based on what he was now seeing he saw a tree there are many people who come to god and with just one touch they don't wait until their visions and the truths of the kingdom is communicated properly this is the origin of imbalance when people do not wait for god to finish dealing with them so you have a dream and you do not know that that's just part one you do not stay with god to have the other component to balance it up then you stand up with your misguided perception that is true but not the whole truth error is a product of truth that is not complete are we together now so when people have certain dimensions of god and they don't stay for that touch to be perfected so that they see clearly they come up with aberrated views of spiritual things so there are aberrated views of holiness there are aberrated views of prosperity there are aberrated views of the anointing incomplete views if we stop here in this conference you will be blessed but you will see men like trees because there are dimensions that must be supplied it's like you are trying to give legs to a man who has no legs you gave him one leg and he said i've never had it this good and he says just let me go uh -uh. you must love him enough to say no men walk on two legs now that person has never had that experience he's been crawling you just gave him one leg this is the danger of many young ministers they go for a five-day conference and attend day one and say my god with what i've had is all right and they run in the strength of that in inaccurate information not necessarily inaccurate but incomplete i would say and then with it they spread it and make a whole doctrine out of it and error starts coming and you are trying what you know was true but you are wondering why it is not producing the effect because he had to touch him a second time and he made him look up and the bible says he was restored and he saw who every man clearly clearly jeremiah chapter 1 please quickly give us verse 10 we'll read it down to 12. to draw from you again again We've come to draw. Verse 10. Draw, draw, draw from you again. See, see. It starts by saying see. The word see there does not mean look. It means perceive. I'm about to reveal something to you. But see. Comprehend it as a reality have when when he was talking to a small boy who was afraid for his age about to announce to him that he was a possessor of a great anointing would be a prophet over people and the boy said i am young oh. he said no 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 this is not an issue of age it's an issue of perception whoever can see can walk in that and listen you see the way god speaks he does not speak to you as if you are bounded in time when god speaks to you he talks as if he's talking to himself so you must learn how to break down the speakings of god to suit you walking on earth god can look at you and say make sure you build the house by tomorrow he speaks as if he's talking to himself you must go and find out lord what do you mean because in god's mind whether it is 100 years or 1000 years it is still today he's not limited by time he created it to guide men he did not create it for himself so god can look at you and say make sure you go and change the world and build people and it will take 15 years for that word to come to pass but when god is speaking to you he says it as if you will start it this night if you do not understand the speakings of god you can go through that error god speaks to men as though he's speaking to himself so he says i have set this day this moment as i'm speaking to you i have set thee over nations and over the kingdoms to root out 
to pull down to destroy to throw up then to build and to plant and he says this is your destiny this is that which i have allocated to you but i need to test you because it started by saying see next verse please and then he told him he said moreover the word of the lord came to him jeremiah i have told you to see but let's test it what seest thou and jeremiah said i see the rod of an almond tree and god said oh i'm talking to the right person verse 12 give us verse 12 and the lord said thou hast what that means thou has seen correctly your perception is in line and because of that i will hasten my word that you have seen correctly your perception is a sign that you have agreed with me we are on the same pace and on the strength of that i will hasten my word to perform it amplified says for i am alert and active watching over my word to perform it the word that is performed is not what god said is the one you have seen there are many things god have said that we will keep quoting and never see it in our lives it is the part of his vision that you have seen correctly that he will hasten to perform he will not just hasten what he spoke he will hasten what you have agreed with him through your perception that's why we are correcting a lot of things I started yesterday by teaching us the power of perceptions how that a man's life can be limited remember our story of ben haddad are we together now yes perception this morning i want to share with us a few things just an exhortation that will bless our hearts and then we'll prepare for the night I want to teach you very briefly i'll talk on a few things but i want to start this morning by teaching you how demons control territories how demons control individuals how they keep individuals limited how they keep lives and destinies limited you must pay attention to this hallelujah now jesus was teaching us something about demons he casted a demon from a man listen carefully and then he used the opportunity to start doing a little lecture on the activity of demons you have to listen and he said when a demon leaves a man certain things start happening to that demons he, he left the man alone and was talking about the demons he said that demons are restless until they find habitable environments that's the first thing jesus began to teach us that the moment a demon leaves a body and is only in the spirit form it becomes restless now that's not a law that is unique to demons alone are we together any spirit is restless until it finds a home including the holy spirit listen there is a law it's called the law of territory you must assume the the components of a territory to be able to coexist in other words if you are in the sea you must be able to have all the build up organs that a fish has to dwell well a man cannot jump on his own and live in the sea for a long time because we are not equipped for that territory that hab that habitat is not for us are we together now now when god made earth he designed earth in such a way that you must possess a body now that body does not have to be made in the image and the likeness of god let it just be a material vessel it can authorize you to live on the earth are we together now now the bible talks about the disembodied spirits demons alongside other fallen angels and part of their punishment even before the eternal judgment is that they roam around without bodies and from what jesus taught us it means that they are consistently restless are we together because there is no legal authorization for them to function in any environment they cannot when the time came for jesus to come to the earth he had to submit himself to have a body we named that body jesus 
the spirit that was in that body was not jesus that spirit was the word jesus was a name that they gave that spirit to help him function on earth is that true that's why the key is not just mentioning j-e-s-u-s there are people on earth that have that name are you getting what i'm saying now so jesus had to subscribe to a body on earth today he still functions with a body called the body of christ what we call the church without a body no spirit can function are we together it is one of the laws of the supernatural everything that must come into the earth realm must have a body equivalent to find expression if god wants to speak to you there are usually five elements of the supernatural that he communicates with number one is sound the wind sound the word of god comes through air the power of the air to reach you is that true number two light illumination number three water water is a mysterious element of the spirit number four the earth itself the earth itself number five fire all the activities of the supernatural revolve around these five elements so let's get back to our teaching so jesus says when demons are casted out of a man they start moving from region to region dry regions looking for a body and not finding that body they return back to the victim and this is what the demon says let me go back to my house who is he calling his house the man who is supposed to be already free in other words the demon is saying i've not given up there was a formation in that house that made that man conducive for the demon spirit and when the demon goes back and sees the house swept and kept but still within that spiritual formation the demon says it is still my house please listen carefully now when you study occultism don't study it <laughs> but when you understand anything about occultism many of you who have seen people who are in the occult will tell you when they are leaving their body they have to return in the same position is that true if they lay down on top and left and you turn them they will be roaming around the room and never be able to enter again it's a law because that formation is the mold that authorizes them to leave they must return back that's why they invoke those things alone so that there is no man to be able to turn them there are people who have died not because it was their time they were turned as a sign of judgment and they roamed around there is a number of hours allocated where the spirit of man can dissociate from his body if it does not return it cannot return again are we together are you learning this now now when you go to a native doctor and you tell him i want to get a charm do you know what he does to you he invokes through div divination and occultic powers he concocts a charm now that charm looks like nonsense to you in the physical but that charm you see is a house he's building based on the solution you want to be provided the spirit that is coming to assist you will give his requirement on the kind of house that should be built so he will say use the head of a goat open it and put water or put whatever you will hold rubbish in your hand that spirit you see was somewhere the spirit cannot live until they reproduce his current habitat so that when he comes and dwells in that charm it will be the same thing as his house are you getting what i'm saying a spirit cannot dwell in a region whose formation is not the same as where it was living the body that was prepared for the spirit of the world to come and dwell was prepared in the similitude of the throne room of heaven that's why the spirit of jesus could live comfortably in that body 
When the Holy Spirit came into Jesus, it was the same thing as him being in heaven. Because the formation of that body was conducive for his habitation. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So if you drop the charm in the house, that charm can call the demon spirit that will cause whatever destruction to come and he will use that charm as small as it is like his house. So the demon does not know the difference of being in your house or being where it left because you have created a physical similitude. Are we together now? That demon spirit remains there until there is a change a change in formation now watch this your mentality what you call your mindset your mindset is not just a gate it's not just a door it's a house in the realm of the spirit your perception creates a formation in the realm of the spirit that formation can attract the spirit of god that formation can attract demon spirits. Are we together? Now, every man... Are we understanding? Are we following this morning? Now, spirits do not come and find expression in people and become strongholds and possess people just like that. There is something called the law of consistency. You attract spirits by keeping a formation in that position for a long time let me give you an instance if i steal this brother's biro it's not necessarily a demon that made it steal i have my human will are we together the moment i keep stealing that biro my mindset is creating a habitation for the spirit of theft the spirit of theft finds out that something on earth is attracting it and when it comes my consistency keeps attracting it one day this guy will go to steal and know something entered him from that day he can't stop again now he is no longer a thief there is the spirit in him you no longer can advise him to stop stealing even if the biro is missing the spirit will tell him where it is and he will find it and pick it are we together are you getting how this thing works so if i go and sleep with a lady day one it's not necessarily the spirit of lust you just allowed your flesh to take over you but when you do it the second time the spirit of lust, wherever it is there is that gravitational pull because that act of consistency is creating a portal a doorway there is a formation and that spirit starts being drawn to the environment where consistency is one day you will find out that that spirit has entered you and whether you are married or not you can't stop again now the first time you go to pray you may not have the spirit of prayer and supplication you just go and you are just praying and then you do it day two day three and a dimension of the holy spirit starts being pulled there is a formation created for that dimension of him and the spirit of god starts searching for the environment where that consistent action is and one day you go to pray as usual one one hour and it turns to five hours that day the spirit of prayer and supplication entered you you can't stop again you see that the realm of the spirit responds it hardly initiates men initiate is god teaching us this So your mindset and your understanding let me tell you by the time the average person gets to 10 years in nigeria our consistency in mediocrity and wrong thinking have been consistent a lot to enough to attract demons at age 10 anybody in nigeria has qualified for a demon spirit coming to partner with his mindset because you have been too consistent and that's why we grow with that wrong conditioning that conditioning that limits us are we together now now the danger of that is that it has become a stronghold no longer a mindset what is a stronghold a stronghold is a mindset 
that has been fortified by the presence of demon spirits to ensure that the victim continues thinking in that paradigm it is that state that makes the word of god of none effect are we together now yes when a mindset becomes a stronghold then a spirit has come a poverty mindset can become a poverty stronghold now you can give that person ten thousand naira when he holds it that spirit must make him waste it it has nothing to do with being a good or bad person he must waste it there is an understanding that a man has and it becomes a stronghold even if he marries the greatest angel in the world he must beat and humiliate her ask the man why are you doing it he says i don't know we are not only victims of our mindsets our mindsets have been enforced by the presence of demon spirits our mindsets have become houses now listen listen you can be born again that thing will not go just by default don't ever allow anybody deceive you that's not demon possession they are still comfortable latching upon your soul realm because your mindset creates a habitation for them if that deliverance does not happen forget about your possession that's why the bible says upon mount zion two things happen number one deliverance deliverance is not just casting a devil and, co and coughing out no deliverance is a system where the word of god is systematically used to disengage those demons first from that gateway then the second dimension of the of deliverance is a reconfiguration so that they no longer it no longer can be a habitation conducive for them one of the greatest mistakes as people try to cast out demons from people is they do not know that the demon can only lie down there because the house was formed in a particular pattern so if the demon leaves and the house is not reconfigured recalibrated that demon must return not will return must return this is the teachings of jesus himself and he says he will return in such a way that he will gather seven others greater and worse than himself i have watched people and i have seen that they are victims of not just wrong thinkings some of our lovely parents who love us so much you look at them and you know that there are spirits sitting on their mindset some of our government officials you know that there are spirits that keep them thinking that way when a mindset has become a stronghold any physical resource that comes is useless the mindset has been captured remember our teaching yesterday you don't hold things with your hands you hold them with your mind you don't lose things by them leaving your hand you lose things by them leaving your mind anything that left your hand and was still in your mind is coming back it only went strolling it must come back you have captured my heart consumed my heart with your love you have captured my heart consumed my heart with your love hey, hey, hey. you have my heart comes you my heart in your love listen you can be born again for many years many years and still be a victim of this you will never be able to do much i'm anointed i'm born again what is this 10 member barrier that can never move to 100 never move to 500 never move to 1000 you're thinking bless a man whose mind has not been delivered you only would you threw money in a basket it would have been better to go and eat with it something must happen in your life that would destroy it this is what we see all around our cities no favor no open door no grace no help i came in this conference to set you free if you are really tired of where you are listen the key is not scholarship the key is not just business value is only useful when deliverance has happened 
did you hear what i said if you like have the greatest whatever it is when that deliverance has not happened to you the nation of israel were delivered physically in one day they left but for 40 years they couldn't enter the promised land and every enemy that came in that prom in that 40 years they defeated them but they still could not enter how can you be defeating enemies and still not enter your rest it is possible that your life can be a life of fight forever and you will never rest because it takes understanding to enter the seventh day it's not the passage of time that brings you there uh -uh. god counted days not just after morning and evening he counted days when specific things were done you can enter your seventh day in one week you can enter your seventh day in five years you can be on day three throughout your lifetime it's not the passage of time that graduates you it is understanding that moves you from one day to the other are you hearing what i'm saying so most of us we need a major deliverance major deliverance don't take it for granted this is why we don't do well in school it's not just that you are demonized now there are strongholds they've told you all your life you will never make it now you got born again and took it for granted and you find out that you get into an exam hall and cheaply you forget everything it's not just that you are dull there are strongholds the colonial masters knew this they locked our minds and released our hands and they said you can go and we foolishly agreed and we are still victims we are more bound today than we were 50 something years ago listen whatever is in your hands and is not in your mind is not real the job that is in your hands and not in your mind is not real the physical environment is only a looking glass it must be captured in your mind before it is in your heart see jeremiah it is not yet in your hands but let's get it to your mind i have said did this day i have not even started ministry receive it first if not you will never see it see this day in destiny summit that you are entering a dimension of anointing you have never entered but man of god i don't even have any this is it you must receive it receiving it in your mind is your partnership with the holy spirit it is your saying lord i agree with you he said what seest thou i know what i see i know what i see a life of glory and grace i know what i see a recession free destiny i know what i see a life of beauty and glory unkillable unmolestable this is not just some confession i have seen it there is power in your name that's what i see with my eyes the miracles happen in your name as we lift our heads in praise it's you that I see It's you that I see That's my testimony At the center of my life It's you that I see Your blessings I see Sit down What seest thou? of Ida, what do you see? Is it a poor town where it's a miracle if you buy one car? Or are you seeing a life and destiny that one day you are returning here to build one of the biggest orphanages and bless people and they say ah, is it not you that used to stay at the back of that place? You say you got it right. It was only my body that was there. My mind left this city. listen where you are born has nothing to do with your destiny you never get to a place where your mind has not gone to <laughs> your mind is the only authorized leader of your body 
it must get there and know the road then it comes back and takes your body there are you getting what i'm saying there are things that i'm walking today that i saw years ago i saw myself being anointed i saw myself blessing people i saw a handshake changing someone's life i saw it what do you see apostle i come from a family of seven people i'm the last one nobody knows me you have to walk with the holy spirit you have to begin to repaint a new picture these demons are keeping you down my father is a millionaire and they are flattering you and making it look like you will never suffer you will need to create your own picture and say this is not the issue of my father's money lord i have seen in the world i've seen that you are no respecter of persons i thought that because i've never gone outside this nation i'm a poor person just because i'm i'm in one village i cannot the only thing i can speak well is igala it doesn't matter the chinese have never been under pressure to learn english they took their minds to the world and the whole world is coming to interpret their language are we together If I can walk on your mind, if I can make you look beyond this city, if I ma can make you agree with God that I can be a millionaire, not just some carnal money mongering thing, money with a mission and understanding that I'm a financier, I'm a blesser. My mother should not die in a hut. Lord, there is a saying where I come from that a donkey gives birth so that it will rest. Some of our parents have never entered rest but we can take them into our rest are you hearing what i'm saying that you change your mind and say the man that gets married to me will know he married a treasure i know that there are ladies living their lives giving men headache but for me i'm ready to model my mind after god's standard my marriage will work yes in Ida, it will work well we will be happy i will give birth to five children the least of them will be a general in the kingdom none of them no no my womb will not give birth to armed robbers and thieves it's your perception are we together you can get up and make up your mind and say look it's, it's true that i'm coming from here i would have been in the university now but things happen and it's right now i'm trying to get ssc it doesn't matter you can tell yourself that for starters i will drive it down to phd first to let the devil know that right from me that here i can make it happen first your pastor is currently pursuing his phd effortlessly he brought one of his works for me he was asked permit me to just share it pastor he was asked to present seven publications for his promotion he made 16 he doubled it and added two that's intelligence plus plus from this city to the world from this city to the world nobody was born with any advantage you create your advantage based on what you see you are not the only one who has been cheated you are not the only one who feels bad if my stupid father was sensible sorry if he wasn't are you i made up my mind from day one we're having a discussion with pastor jimmy this morning and we're just sharing about these perceptions we're just discussing very intricately we had our own destiny summit before coming here listen the business is here the anointing will pass through here not the oil not the hand here the failure that has eaten you your deliverance will start from here the poor marriage bad understanding about relationship will end here some of you seated here have written songs that if we ever hear if it goes on radio now even donny mcclockin will call you but the devil has made you hide it he said no don't mock yourself you but when you believe 
there is an anointing upon me and my body and my location notwithstanding i will stand before kings of other nations and they will they will not shake me and it will be a privilege for me they will shake me and say i want to go and see your mother and you say come down to my village say it doesn't matter that one day they will come down with their prestige the fish they will eat will be from it that year and you say eat it and they will eat it as a privilege because they need you to bless them ah. who made us hate ourselves who made us belittle ourselves one of the nicest pepper soups that i've taken was in idahi yes you won't believe it god has granted me grace to travel trust me i was telling you i don't know i can't remember and she i think it was first or second destiny summit ah even our driver that time he took it and called his wife he said ah now listen the person who made that thing do you know that one day can make that thing to a manager in a hotel and say what are you doing in Ida? i said well i just do it for passion and he said no way your life is changing first year is a two-bedroom flat come you will be the one handling this thing for this whole hotel if you believe in yourself everyone will if everyone believes in you and you don't they only wasted their time you know i used to joke back then and i used to say that even if i was not born again i would never hang myself this thing people call depression to hate yourself till you hang yourself <laughs> do you know how i love myself my goodness such a privilege to be me hang myself based on what if i was not anointed i will farm if i can't farm i can talk no 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 no, no, no. I, look you have to love yourself to force this door to open this casual casual attitude of wishing you were someone do you know do you know growing up i didn't hate myself but it's amazing the people i wish to be and some of them look at me now and they can pay their life to be me something you do not know about who you are is making you hate yourself i hate myself i have a big head i hate myself i have this all that thing is garbage for if you can partner with god to be transformed those demons this morning my assignment is a serious deliverance we are going to pray those stumbling blocks that have limited you some of you from now till evening you will just go and get a notebook and start writing a world changer a destiny maker and tell yourself by destiny summit 2018 i would already start that building project and the devil says you better don't make a fool of yourself you say let's watch keep watching keep watching keep watching who belittled you if your pastor never looked at himself to shake himself out of the limitations he would not be doing what he's doing today and would not be blessed this is the brainchild of a man who has made up his mind to look beyond it i'm not asking you if you can speak english i'm not asking you if you have ever traveled out of kogi state i'm asking you if you are willing to let your mind travel with god are you willing a man of god wrote a book dreaming with god the, the, you see the beautiful thing about dreams is that you don't carry your body along leave it there because this is seldom the interruption you just carry your mind with the spirit to that realm of unimaginable realities and you return back and say lord i saw it i can get there joseph was the least and while he was there he slept and god started altering his perceptions he saw the sun he saw the moon he saw 11 stars bowing when he got up joseph said i agree I agree, I agree. One time he saw certain sheep bowing down to his own and his father perceived, he said, are you saying one day, even me and your mother and your brothers will bow down to him? They took his body inside the well, but his mind was on the throne. His mind brought his body out. They took his body to a prison. A 
woman lied that his body raped her but his mind was on the throne they took him to the prison and until his mind took him there when he got to the throne the mind said this is where i've been trying to bring you listen don't mind your body just leave it let your mind take you where your body wants to go and i promise you your body must follow it's a promise for as he thinketh in his heart leave the body wear the clothes in your mind wear your mind's own cloth and stop faking it don't buy a watch of fifty thousand when you are not there you are empowering your hand what you have in your mind is not consistent your mind will remove the watch but you learn the laws and you learn the principles a day will come during destiny summit there will be bosses that will carry people from regions powered by the ministry not borrow you see that a day will come when destiny summit all the hotels whoever cannot two weeks to the time the whole hotels in kogi are booked why because of multinationals that will live everywhere around the nation and come not to kogi not to stadium ida here where is the venue it's in the mind it will certainly not be here the mind is about to create something luxurious in this city that people will come and say which architect did it and you say all the builders were of this origin nobody came from america it's a sample of what god can do that's what i see that's how to think that's how to dream with god are we together yes a time where by february three or five people will hear and say pastor how much is the budget for destiny summit and they say 10 million we say oh that's that's not even that's like one tenth of the profit i made this month the lord led me to sow it and say in Ida, are you a thief what are you doing say no 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 it's only my body that is in Ida. my mind has been going around the world and attracting all the blessings that come from it i know some of you don't believe me this is not motivation brothers and sisters we are creating realities if this is what you had growing up it would have forced your body to move higher than this i know what you had growing up you are a failure you are stupid you will never become anything you god call you is it that god doesn't have other people that he will call you it looked like it was a joke but your mind was registering it so when your body wanted to be great your mind brought it back and said don't forget and you are still here but this morning what sees thou what do you see do you see the little room you just left this morning with no light and a candle and mosquitoes or do you see yourself having been the largest estate developer in Ida, bringing people from several places do you see yourself as that weak lady just married to one small man and you are just seated and happy or you are seeing a woman with five children and hundred other children you are taking care of feeding them with what what do you see let's work with our minds i want you to dream with god this morning what do you see is it a life of greatness or a life where the shrine that is in your village that they told you nobody can rise above this shrine and you have agreed and the shrine is telling on you or are you going to say well the last person who worshiped this shrine will be the last in my lifetime that tree must be cut down and a new house will be erected there are some of you living in apartments that are almost 60 years old nobody has renovated it the way the bulb is when you were growing is still like that because nobody has the means listen i can know the level of your mental development by looking at everything around you if it has refused to grow it's because your mind refused to grow when your mind grows everything 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 that there's somebody here who will say by destiny summit 
I will be one of the greatest gospel ministers in Ida. Not just a singer, a worshiper. That I would have written songs of the spirit. That when people hear, they'll say, wow, this, this, sounds, this sounds like C.C. Winers. And you say, no, 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 no. It was right here. Listen, the way I'm training you is how I train our people back there to take their mindsets and take it off the limits. I cannot help you if your mind cannot change. I cannot help you if you still remain with those thinking. Don't listen to what I'm telling you and just say, well, wonderful message. No, sir. Something is limiting you apostle but i'm poor my own issue is this poverty i wish i can just have capital i promise you have 10 times that capital you will still fail the first capital you need is deliverance deliverance from the, from the poverty thinking are you getting what i'm saying apostle can i walk in an anointing I have always seen Benihin in my dreams. But when I get up, I say, I, 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 I don't know if I can get there. You give God space with your mind and see what he does with you. One day you will see the papers in Kogi saying a strange young lady that we don't know from where with such a prophetic unction. And they ask you and say, did you, did you go to the World Healing Center to have Benihin lay your hands on? You say, I didn't have the privilege. But my mind had that privilege and the mind traveled and went and i authorized the holy spirit to walk in me in such a mighty way and this is what i've become now listen my project even to this day is letting my mind dream with god in my mind i'm not at this level of ministry what you are seeing today is what my mind was thinking yesterday Tomorrow will tell you what my mind is thinking now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Brothers and sisters, what do you see? Deliverance. We must be delivered. There are spirits that are sitting on our minds. You saw it in your elder brother. You saw it in your sister. Their minds were not changed. They got a job in Abuja. In six months, their minds returned them back to Kogi. Have you not seen it? There are people like that. They called you and said, do you know God just opened a door for me? And your mind said, the door is only open physically. It didn't open in your mind. And all of a sudden, two million naira came and they were happy. Their closed mind forced them to waste the money. Now, even if you give them 5,000, they will kneel down and collect because it must happen in your mind before it happens in your hand some of you get as much as 50 to 100 thousand every month but in your mind you have zero naira so every time you hold 50 thousand in your hand your mind responds by sending a message that there is a mistake in your life and until you become poor then your mind will say you are back to your default it's not that money is missing listen listen do you know if we were never told we're in a recession there are people who would not be poor although we were in a recession the only reason why people have justified their failures and the devil has destroyed them is because they were told an information you are in a recession and they authorized everything in their lives to go haywire why because there was a justification i was reading an article and they said the financial fall of the great depression has happened again but it's only that it was not announced like that so people just pass through it have you seen sick people who have been sick carrying terminal diseases for over 10 years but because they did not know they will play football in cold and go back but one day they went to the hospital and a perception was created they said that you are not dead is a miracle from that day their body starts shrinking yet the same person he never knew that he was a sickler and would run inside cold he would remove his shirt only trouser and wear his football boots and play football in the cold he's done it for years 
drink ice water and sleep because he never had the privilege but one day an information came adam and eve were in the garden doing very well and satan said how do i get them and one day he came and started changing the perception the moment god came walking in the cool of the day he said adam where are you and adam said lord i heard your voice but i ran away because i was naked hear what god said who told it was not part of what i gave you somebody has changed your mindset who did it and he said this woman kept telling me something no woman what happened the serpent too told me something like this. so when jesus came his first assignment was repent 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 does not mean repent means change your thinking now the kingdom is within your reach that's what it means is at hand the influence and the governance of christ is within your reach john came to and said repent repent the message was repent repent does not mean stop doing wrong things repent means you cannot stop allow me to align you and your body will stop people try to stop things i will stop fornicating no you will not stop you will continue until this mind becomes in you that was in christ jesus then the mind will begin to set his, th his mind you set your mind on the things above not on the things of the earth and the power of the holy spirit will through that gateway cause you to have immunity against lust otherwise you can do anything you want to do you see why things like pornography are dangerous it's internet just internet no it's not just internet you are seeing a picture and it enters your mind and a spirit comes with that picture and sits in your mind that spirit starts forcing you to get up and you get up by 1 a.m and travel to somebody's house did the spirit push you no it push your mind your mind push your body you can't sleep till you obey your mind your body is a slave to your thinking every man is subject we are captives of our belief systems if i knew more than i know now i will not be where i am my life today is limited by my understanding so your project are you seeing the reason why paul prayed in chapter 1 and, and verse 17 of ephesians for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit not the information this is more than information the spirit of wisdom the spirit of revelation understanding the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light that you may know not just be aware and experience there is something you need to know there is something you need to know the cure for poverty is not business the cure for poverty is the deliverance of the mind to preach glad tidings to the poor there is a message they must hear there is an understanding that must be constructed give a man money his mindset will drive it from his hand transfer the money to his mind the money will return wherever it went to are you hearing what i'm saying that's why i want you to treasure treasure the sessions you are going to be having with pastor jimmy your life will change in a way that I, I don't i don't even know what to begin to tell you i pray and hope you treasure it you know i look at my life and i wish that i knew some of the things i knew now a little earlier i never had the opportunity for mentorship everybody around me was a failure total complete failure it's not like i was a rebel people were thinking small and shallow and i said god something must be wrong my life started changing when i found dr miles monroe's book discovering your potential that was when my life started changing and several other things the rest is history that's why i cried when he died 
we were in Port Harcourt. no worry for a program when he died before the morning he would die that night my heart physically was paining me I thought that God was communicating the burden of someone's sickness for me to pray and minister healing for the person and by 5 a.m. or thereabout in the morning I was told he had died I was going to meet him the next year it would be a privilege as a young person confused trusting God for grace I wrote letters to many men of God only one person replied me handwritten Dr. Miles Monroe only one person replied me and I remember him speaking those words to me he said I believe in you you are great you were born for a purpose and he recommended some of his books and told me that I should not disappoint destiny I cried as I held that letter when I dropped it I said that's it world I'm ready for you ready for you words are healers words are destroyers you are hearing something that is coming with an anointing on it let me assure you you can never forget what I'm telling you it's not that you want to there is an anointing that will force it in your mind until it changes 10 years from now someone will stand and say I was in the crowd here in Ida he said apostle I remember that time you were speaking and I was seated ah. I dream with you oh God I dream with you hmm. I dream with you you have said I'm great and I believe you have said I'm victorious and I believe you have called me anointed i will not call myself anything less i believe you 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 this is my confession i believe you you know i wrote a song mike this will be the first time i i, I wrote it when we were in mina i've not had a chance to rehearse it with him I would have sang it is a song that was a communication of my love is a testimony the wording say I lift my voice to honor you my God and King omnipotent I lift my voice to worship you my God and King the lover of my soul I've seen your wonders in my life I've seen your glory upon me now i am a miracle today and he says i love you with everything forever one day i was singing i wrote it down i just thought through my life i said lord look at what you can do with an ordinary person my father is still alive my mother is still alive they celebrated their birthdays two weeks ago they are four days apart and i called my mother on her birthday to wish her a happy birthday and all she was doing was crying she said the God that gave me a son like you why won't I cry my parents did not know what I know today but they entered my rest her only assignment in life I believe was to give birth to me and she has done her assignment my assignment there are some of you here you have refused to give your parents rest you are the reason why they are sick today something about your thinking is still making you steal something about your thinking is still making you return to the house by one ear when a gentleman sags his jeans down ties it almost to his leg it's not his jeans it's his mind his mind is forcing his body to respond in a way i hear what i'm saying but when you see a gentleman looking decent his mind says you are a leader you are ready to take the world when you see a gentleman who is responsible sweeping his house and washing the plates and putting everything he is somebody who is about to leave that small room his mind has gone far are we together oh why didn't i rehearse this song with you mike my spirit is burning me because god gave me that song to inspire people it's my testimony No, 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 
no, no, don't worry. I'm not, all of you are waiting to hear it. I'm waiting to hear your own song. Not the song you compose. The song that gratitude forced to come out. That you are so blessed. You have no business with music. But you say, can I? No, no, I have to write something. I have to write something. I believe in you. That's why I'm here. Man of God, if you don't rise, there are millions that will die. Have you not seen them in your dream? Don't act like you did not see them. Remember what you wrote down in that notebook. In that room. It was a room smelling smoke. Yet the vision still came. And God showed you. Sister, didn't you see the vision? Help that lady under the anointing. Didn't you see the vision? Didn't you hear the sound? Didn't God tell you? Did you not see yourself carrying a beacon of light? Did you not see yourself going from nation to nation? Didn't God tell you? You will be one of the foremost prophets in this nation. What made you stop believing him? Just because you never prophesied? Didn't God tell you? that will come from you please help them the anointing of the spirit is upon you didn't god speak to you that a day will come when you will lift people up from crutches didn't you see it in your vision god was lifting you up your village was keeping you down dream with god Dream with God, destiny makers. Dream with God. There is so much. There is nothing God ever tells me that I do not believe. See, Joshua Selman. And I say, yes, Lord, I'm seeing. I see it. I see it with you. See that one day you will heal the sick. See that one day your hands will be miracle hands. Yes, Lord, I see. Yes, Lord, I see. Yes, Lord, I see that I will not be ordinary. Yes, Lord, I see. I see that the anointing will flow from me to the nations. Yes, Lord, I see. See that one day your voice will come with fire, changing people. You will speak and demons will leave people. I see. I see. I see. That one day I will walk in the anointing. You can't fake this thing. Hear what I'm teaching you. Your eyes must see it. The eyes of your understanding must capture it. See that one day you will never beg for money. That your cry today is temporal. That the things that are seen are subject to change. You must see, you must see yourself defeating the spirit of death see yourself holding the spirit of death they say we were like grasshoppers we were like grasshoppers who called them grasshoppers not god when the angel appeared to gideon he called him by his future almighty man of failure and gideon was hiding gideon said no 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 i'm the least in my father's house and the tribe is the least God has come to deliver you God has come to deliver you man of God I came to let you know that the vision was not a lie it's real that dream you saw is not a lie sister it is true that one day you will become the mother Teresa of our generation you will become the Catherine Kuhlman. It's not a lie. That you are in it. That does not mean it should not be there. He reigns, he reigns, he 
is standing by my side to bring his word to pass the race the race our God is an awesome you reign to reign to reign of our warfare are not cannot listen but mighty through God to the pulling down pulling down dismantling pulling down of strongholds listen we have some serious prayers to do this morning prayer point number one every spirit that is constructing a wrong paradigm in my mind and programming me for failure the Lord is against you this morning Lift your voice and pray. 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 Habaraka taka shoba karata yana malada bokushi. Raka taka taka tama shata karato soto malata. Every stronghold, every stronghold, financial stronghold, health stronghold. Maria stronghold in the name of Jesus I shake you off I shake you off I shake you off by the power of the Holy Ghost are you praying I shake you off. I shake you off by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is opening my eyes. We are going to pray one prayer. I wanted to bring those under the anointing now something strange will happen here now i'm seeing chains 
over people's heads and there will be massive I told you this morning is a morning of deliverance don't worry we'll pray for the sick and other impartations but something must happen to you say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus every spirit every gate every door forcing me to have a wrong understanding and destroy my life I come against you in the name of Jesus lift your voice and pray get ready I decree and declare I'm standing by people now in the spirit and I'm seeing chains chains I stretch my hands I command those chains go now bring them out go now I command those chains be loose be loose now be loose now I cast those chains be loose now be loose now be loose now I command those chains on your head i'm seeing snakes all over this place that's what i'm saying that deliverance needs to happen just lay your hands i declare 
I'm seeing like fire and it's dropping on certain people as soon as it drops on you that spirit laying you captive must go right now I declare I stand upon this anointing and this grace at the count of three is coming on people now one two three Shame. He's taking all reproach. He's taking all captivity. He's taking all your sorrow. He's taking all the pain. Hallelujah. Please don't miss tonight while praying. Hallelujah. Hold on. Uh, trumpeter, please be sensitive. Eh? Don't just blow that thing. Listen, walk with them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm seeing a guy and a lady in the spirit. And the Lord wants to set them free. We are, we are dealing with this, but there's, I'm seeing a guy and a lady in the congregation right now. There's a fire that is coming upon them. I want you to bring them out here. You, you can't stand it. This is, this is not, um, I'm ministering to you by the spirit. The word of God will look for you. A gentleman and a lady right now. I'm seeing something mysterious about their family that's the gentleman there bring him out there is the lady the hand of god is coming upon her this is this is witchcraft over the family thank you lord jesus this is strange witchcraft where is that lady the fire comes upon her just hold the gentleman look at just hold him i want to pray for him i stretch my hands i cast that devil in the name of jesus christ i'm going to pray for everybody but that lady the hand of god will come upon that lady make sure she comes out she won't be able to stand. She will not even know she's the one. But the hand of God, the spirit of God. I'm seeing like a bird flying in this room. And the Lord tells me that's how he's going to locate that person. Like a bird flying. And it's going to land on one lady. Brother, young man, come. You don't even know why you are out. Hmm? You are not done. God is not done with you. There is a reason why you are out. Break every chain. Ojone. Who is Ojone? Ojone. Ojone. Is there someone like that with that name in this place? Ojone. This small girl. Huh? Uh-uh. Hold on. The Ojo hold on the Ojone I'm seeing is a lady hold on just wait just wait I'm taking the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing a woman standing close to you her name is Ojone what's your wife's name? Ojone oh. uh, is she here? call her let her come out now where is she? huh? she traveled I want to pray for you you have entered a season of strange breakthrough you hear me? look at me I don't know you all but something is about to happen to you that will change your life forever. Not my protocol, but your name is Victor. 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 You are wearing a monkey jacket. Victor. Victor. Come. Where are you coming from? Are you part of in Ida here? I will pray for you. Because I'm seeing something that God will do in your life. Please, don't miss tonight. Don't miss tonight. We are going to dedicate tonight to pray. But something is coming on you. 
I'm looking at this young girl and I'm seeing that God wants to put a crown on her head. Come. 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 I'm looking at you and in the spirit, I'm seeing God putting a crown. But first, there is a deliverance that must happen to her. A young lady and all of that. You believe God, you love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. I command that spirit leave her life and her destiny now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the Lord is going to put a crown an ornament upon you but a deliverance a major deliverance has happened to your family in the name of Jesus Christ I command that breakthrough I command that breakthrough I'm seeing a bat in the realm of the spirit I just saw it fly and the Lord is telling me judgment upon it there's someone here there is something that has brought circles of pain in your family but as I'm speaking right now the power of God is coming upon you coming upon you coming upon you coming upon you you are in the congregation you are not part of those outside here right now it will start with your hands and all over your body the fire of God is coming on such a person now in the name of Jesus I command deliverance right now I command deliverance right now to that family be free be free from that ordinance of witchcraft be free from that ordinance of witchcraft when you find that person bring him out here sir hold my hands in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare I see you standing before a door and that door is not only closed it's shut but I command that door open now in the name of Jesus that door opens now mr. man come you're a student what do you do you're a student I'm seeing that where, where you're a student where the what's FBI federal polytechnic in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you look at me God is giving you the spirit of wisdom and God is going to give you wealth this is not something that will happen immediately or you will finish and you will see God bless you and you will start having unusual access to the teaching grace lift your hands are those ladies twins come two of you it's time for God to change your family help this guy you have taken all my pain you've taken all my shame you have taken all the stats you've taken all the protections you have taken look at me you people are nice ladies but there's no favor in your life at all hold on please hold on i have to pray for you are you the only ones of your family members are here you are the only one two of you i want to pray for you you believe if i pray for you god will change your life believe it huh you are looking as if you are doubting i i'm going to pray for you and the god of heaven will change your life i look at two of you and i see lovely ladies that should have gone far but i'm seeing limitations 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 and that thing is about to be broken there's someone i'm looking for there's someone i'm looking for there's someone i'm looking for uh, that person is not here where is the guy that was standing here okay that's him there the lord is asking me to set somebody free Hold on. this is a person let her go now in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray for everyone but let her go now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the spirit of death over this family in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I decree and declare right now that spirit leaves this family touch my hand with two of your hands go ahead do your best touch it I decree and declare that every ordinance with the hands that thing is a serious deliverance it's an instruction God is giving me mm. ladies I want to pray for you what do you do huh? you are students in the polytechnic she's, she's not yet schooling I have to pray for her you are great ladies father change this family
for them. We are going to destroy all that nonsense now. Eh? I hear that it, because you are twins, they raise altars. We are destroying all those nonsense. Listen, listen. I don't care how long it is. What is Ele Ojo? Is that a name? E L E A J Is it A J O or O J O? Whose name is that? No, not you. This this is Kai. The person is a lady. You didn't cover your hair. No, and not this one. There is a this lady I'm seeing in my vision. Come. This is the lady. I'm going to pray for you. Oh, no, hold on. I will press stand up, my dear. What's your name? Make sure that you are not telling lies. What's her name? Huh? No. They don't call you Elio Joe. They call you blessing what's your name blessing i'm going to pray you came out too don't be embarrassed i will pray please why are they here why uh, don't worry i'm going what's her name are you uh, did you confirm it your name is elio joe elio joe i'll pray for you the, please don't feel bad it doesn't mean that maybe if you come out and the word is not specifically for you don't feel bad maybe god is not speaking to you uh-uh I'm seeing light leaving her to you, young man. What's your name? Come. Because I'm seeing you stand and I'm seeing light leaving her to you. The same thing God wants to help her from. Stand up, please. This guy you see, you are going to become a very powerful man of God. I look at you. I don't know so much about you. Stand, stand, look at me. But you need, look, one, you need a lot of information. Your heart is open, but you know very little. I want to pray for you. Huh? the impartation you are receiving now the real thing will be in the evening but now you need your eyes to be open open his eyes oh god in the name of jesus let your eyes be open look at me my dear can you shout if i say you should shout will you shout shout jesus as loud as you can jesus. that's the end of every captivity in your family in the name of jesus christ hold my hands um, dear ladies right now in the name of jesus i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the head of a goat Sabrokatu i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the spirit of god every yoke of bondage over both of your lives that has made favor to live your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i set both of you free right now be free now in the mighty name of jesus do you know do you know pastor god is going to use these ladies in remarkable ways i'm looking at a prophetic grace two of them like that a prophetic grace especially this one i don't know how i cannot even identify them but this one i'm seeing a very strong grace that is going to come on you and you the grace of God. God is taking something from your stomach. I command it to go right now. Right now. Um, we are not praying for the sick, but I'm seeing a lady now. You are going to feel fire on your stomach, literal fire. God is removing something that you do not even know. Thank you, Jesus. This is a sign that will soon round up. In the name of Jesus, there's a lady now as I'm speaking. Like fire will begin to move over your stomach. That deliverance must happen to you right now it must happen to you right now it must happen to you right now you can't stand it it will happen now that's the person up there let that fibroid go now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God please come you are the Elio Jotu you too lift your hands look at me say after me in Jesus name every plague of witchcraft over my family at this destiny summit you must go now i set you free Ouch! bring her Kai. this is not good though what i'm seeing in the name of jesus hold my hands let her go now i curse you by the god of heaven i curse you by the god of heaven this is destiny summit you are entering your rest in the name of jesus christ i'm still praying for those outside if she came out here if she's part of those who came out 
Ah, she's not yet free now. I'm stretching my hands to her. You are seeing that she's not free. You would have taken her back to her seat. My dear, I want to pray for you. There's no favor in your life at all. Listen, one of the things you must trust God to catch is that God will end hardship in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you miss this summit and don't get that grace, then you cheated yourself. Just hold my hand. Something is happening to you. For the light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. You're a great lady, but there's no favor. Now I command you, leave her now. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, release her family. One, two. I'm seeing people being released. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, over. All those in front here, I want to pray because you just came out by the Spirit. But I want to pray a prayer right now. In the name of Jesus, for everyone in front. No, 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 don't worry. I'm, I'm praying for you. I decree and declare I command that spirit please don't be surprised at what happens to you right now the Lord located you and praying at the count of three every yoke on your mind and on your life I command it to go one two why did you come out I saw you walking out why what do you want God to do for you hold on it's not that's not the problem where's the mic it's not here who has it why are you holding it there okay please put the mic on her let me tell you what i'm seeing madam i want you to say true or false if i'm lying shout it let everybody hear i'm seeing you sitting down and i'm seeing spirits they are speaking and you are hearing them physically yes is that true yes you hear this thing almost every day yeah, you are, overnight, that's what i'm saying yes. you went to sleep i'm yes. seeing you around past 10 yes. and you are hearing these voices yes. i'm not saying vision yes. like you are hearing me yes. they are speaking yes. sometimes you hear like people are conversing yes, like a conversation yes. and you are hearing them yes. madam this is the spirit of the dead yes. this is death calling you yes. you need to be delivered yes. you are not here alone that is who is with you here you are My you are her son. son. You are her son. Yeah. I'm going to pray for you. I'm seeing a strong spirit of death. Yes. Madam, mm -hmm. the living and the dead have nothing in common. Uh -huh. God will set you free now. Amen. <sighs> you know, you will leave this morning session, eh? Some of you, before you get home, you will see doors open as if it's a charm. You will stand, <laughs> you will stand and put your hand and say, what has happened? doors don't just open because you want them to open there is a grace that makes them open there are some of you before the evening session people who have not called you in years to bless you i'm not saying months yes it will be as if there is a charm on them they will move around it will tell you that god is doing great things in your midst mama please stand up we're going to pray for you you are a mother you will not die the devil is a liar i'm using mama as a point of contact to any family where the devil has vowed that there will be no laughter this year you have a family and you love your family pray mama i'm praying for you Satan in this destiny summit 2017, you are a liar. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mama, I lay my hands on you. I prolong your life. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that this spirit that come to destroy you in the name of Jesus I curse them now by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare you will sleep sound mama you go back home this afternoon eh? you are going to sleep 
you, you usually are not the person who will sleep like that. But you are going to sleep in a way that will surprise you. Because I'm looking at a woman who has not been sleeping well. Mama, you did not tell me, but the Lord is saying I should pray for your eyes. The Lord is asking me to pray for your eyes. I don't know whether there's anything wrong with your eyes or not. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for our mother. Amen. That eye condition that the devil wants to bring is mm. broken right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Who is Agnes? We're rounding up. Agnes. I'm hearing like Agnes. 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 I'm hearing a name. Agnes. Agnes. Like A-G-N-E-S or something like that. Someone here or someone you know, Agnes. I'm hearing breakthrough for Agnes. Huh? Your name is Agnes? My friend's name is Agnes. Huh? My friend's name is Agnes. Your friend? Agnes is my mother. Huh? My mother's name. All of you. You, your name is Agnes. Your sister. All of you, Agnes. You see how God works. How do you come and stand and just call a name, Agnes? Can you stand for them as I pray? God is removing something from this lady's stomach. No, leave her. Leave her. Be sensitive. Leave her. Just clear the way. Let me stretch my hands towards her. I'm seeing something leaving her like a rope. I command it to go now. In the, I'm stretching my hands now. So as the power of God is touching you, it will touch them there. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to lay my hand on my head. I lay my hands on my own head and I declare. Let the power of God touch them through you wherever they are. Now. In the name of Jesus. Now. Agnes, wherever you are. Now. Now. Satosa siyakata ratojikata. Embregado shalakariatako sadabashi. I declare that every limitation over their life is broken now. Every limitation over their life is broken now. Every witchcraft is broken now. Every witchcraft broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the Lord sets them free. My brother, look at me. Come. Have you gone to the hospital to do a test? Blood test. No, sir. Do you know your blood group? Uh-uh. You are what they call it. Genotype. Do you know your genotype? I have to pray for you. What I'm seeing is not good. Huh? In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. Lord Jesus, change his blood now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be cleansed by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a lady I'm seeing. You have malaria every month. Every month you must have it. Who is that person? Please, I want to pray for you. Our time is gone. Like you must fall sick. That either malaria, malaria, I'm seeing malaria, malaria again. Is there someone like that? Huh? Come, run. Come. Malaria. Again and again. No matter how you treat it. You believe Jesus will set you free. Never forget where he touched you. You know, brothers and sisters, when you really want to be a blessing, be anointed. It's not for showmanship. When you really want to be a blessing, be anointed. Age long captivities, you just settle it by the Spirit of God overnight. Look how many people God is touching and blessing and helping. This is how the church should be. Remember in the Bible when Jesus rebuked Peter and fever from Peter's mother-in-law. Hold my hands, my dear. Kai, this one said it's not even sickness I'm seeing. Let her go. Now. Let her go. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the life of Christ. Jesus said, I am the life. He can give life. To that which is dead, he can give life. In the name of Jesus, I cause sickness. I cause limitation. What is happening to her is happening to someone down there. I cause that spirit. In the name of Jesus, 
I command be healed. I command be healed. There's one more person. I'm seeing three in my vision. This is one. This is two. There's one more person. Where is that person? One more. Hold on. There's one more person. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why is she here? Malaria. We'll pray for the sick. Please. I want you. Hold on. Please. If you love anyone that you know. Please bring them in the evening. Are you hearing me? There are people who have gone through problems you know only God can solve. Please. 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 Look at this little girl. As I'm holding her. The Lord is saying he's going to use her. Jesus. Help this girl. Be healed now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. I set you free from malaria. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands up. I'll pray for you. Then you lay your hands on your head. I'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. There is a lady who is going to shout under the power of God. Loud shout. When that happens, I start praying. Please don't ask me why. You know, the ministry of science and wonder sometimes you have to love God and trust the person you are listening to. If not, sometimes it will look as if, um, but this is something God is telling me. There's somebody right now, a fire anywhere around the congregation. Right now, a lady. Now lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Lord, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Between now and evening, I decree and declare the doors that have refused to open for years. Go back now and meet those doors open. Help that lady. Place it and leave it there. Just place it and leave it there. Just place it and leave it there. We are rounding up. Don't worry. We will not exceed one o'clock. Just place your hand and leave it there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Place your hand and leave it there. Something is happening. The anointing is moving from row to row. Just place your hand and leave it there. There is a strange grace for deliverance. Jesus. I'm prophesying the chain is leaving someone's mind just place your hand and leave it there Lord we give you praise it's a simple instruction God is giving why I don't know but I pray row to row row to row some of you will literally feel lighter something is leaving help that gent oh my God please help that person so it doesn't destroy that thing up there please when your neighbor is falling under the anointing whether you're an usher or not just help them just hold your hand. You will be surprised at what is happening. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. At Osika Parusia, Ligriatos Kabarash, Karabondo Susia, Karapakotus, Sadas Kelebaruskia, Legrodo Zugabaru Katuskia Baratuskia. I'm seeing padlocks opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. We will not exceed one, don't worry. I'm seeing padlocks opening. Let's let God do it. I'm seeing padlocks opening. Padlocks opening. Shakapodo Sosiakata. Bragado Scalabria Shataparota Karia. Please be sensitive, guys, so that they don't injure themselves. I'm seeing padlocks opening in the spirit. Your life must change. You will know you came upon the mount of the Lord. 
Talaros kabariata shkala branda gadagoria toskadi abashia. One more minute. The Lord is opening something, opening people's understanding. Help that guy so he doesn't fall down on that lady, please. Sakatosa zabakatosi atakata. Fire is coming on people's minds. That head. Something is happening. Something is happening. Leka sosia karosa zianda. Akras kadaba zabakatosh kele bariata. Sokonda skotosa zazi abakatosh ke prege dege dege de bosha. Pralakatosa ziakatam brati kashopra di kasari arabarash. I prophesy to you now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Every limitation that has come to your life because of poor thinking, because of wrong thinking, I decree and declare, be delivered right now. I expand your mindset in the realm of the spirit. I expand your thinking. The limitations I expand your thinking I expand your thinking I expand your understanding in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that everything that has left heaven but could not enter your life because of your limited mindset I grant it access to your life now in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you and we'll see you in the evening please make sure you come prepared May the Lord.